Sorry, if you need to. No, wait, you make it. Sorry, baby. Yeah, I guess. Hey! Yo! Welcome to our first ever vlog featuring this little kid back here and my babe. What up? Charles over here. Chaz. Uh, yeah, we're going to be just documenting whatever we can and entertaining and giving y'all some good feedback on fitness and fun. Fitness and fun. Fitness and fun. Oh, Fun. So one thing for sure though, he is the more crazy one, so um, just, you know, enjoy the videos and hopefully if you guys have any ideas for us to create new content, let us know. We'll be more than happy. Yeah, to give y'all what y'all need. The real deal. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Action. Hey, what's up everybody? Charles here. Um, yeah, I'm a fitness fanatic. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be the massivist. Take three. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? Charles Tawei here. I'm um, just a huge fitness freak. Everyone that knows me knows I love health and fitness and just being in the best shape uh, that I possibly can be in. Uh, I've been working out since I was about 15 years old as far as really, you know, being serious in, in weightlifting and, you know, studying what I could do to make my physique better than the rest. Um, I continue to do that to this day, so I've got about uh, almost 15 years plus I'm not going to disclose the age but 15 years in the game you know lifting weights and just perfecting my, my craft uh, you know I've been in the military I've played all sports I've been you know the excelling in each of those sports and just playing the positions that you know demand and require the most from your body so weightlifting and whatnot just helped me to uh, you know perfect all of that and be the best that I can at it and you know I'm looking forward to give you guys some good tips and pointers my fiance and I you know, we're going to be offering help to anyone that might need it. Just some different fitness uh, techniques, different uh, partner activities you can do with your partners or solo or whatever you might have in your house. We'll be here to give you some tips, answer your questions, uh, feed us whatever you can, feedback. We'll love it. And, uh, you know, we'll continue to grow together and be the best we can at fitness. Hey everyone, my name is Smyrna. I am a full-time mom, full-time student, and a full-time housewife, if you want to call it that. And I love all things health and fitness. I, um, with some previous experience with me, I've actually been in the military, I was in the Navy. And then I have also been a surrogate, so I've had a baby for a little Chinese couple. He's a cutie. And um, other than that, I'm an ambassador for One Up Nutrition. If you guys and if you guys want to use my promo code, it's MMF One Up. It saves you 20% off your entire order. I recommend all their supplements. I'll go over a full day with what I take um, with them. But then I also just got um, to being an ambassador for Titan. I don't have a promo code yet, but I will share that as soon as I receive it. So. Um, other than that, we're just going to be here and uh, trying to create content for you guys, answer any questions, and create content that you're going to, you know, love and enjoy. What's your What's your name? Vincent. How old are you? Six. What's your right. favorite thing to do, buddy? Play my Nintendo. Nintendo what? Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah? What game, what's your favorite game on there right now? Hob? Hob. Hob, the definitive, some uh, exploration game. Yeah. You love Pokemon too, don't you? Yes. Don't leave that out. What the else? Cheese. The cheese, you're beastly, buddy. Mm-hmm. Think one beastly. and think two. Sheesh. Together, <laughs> both of them. Uh, dang, they'll tear you down. Mm-hmm. Say bye. Bye. Catch you later. So, as many may know, we are in the time of the coronavirus, and a lot of the weeks we've spent the last three four weeks we've actually been spending in the apartment um i see people going around for runs and everything but we just kind of feel more comfortable staying inside um i'll show you the gym setup that we have in the apartment later it's kind of it's kind of funny because it's right in the kitchen but anyways me and vincent come along while Chaz goes inside the grocery store because he likes being the one who kind of grabs everything and is more comfortable with him going in there than he is with me going in there. Um, you never know. Six-year-olds. 
Oh, and speaking of six-year-olds, I feel for any like parent right now with kids and like doing the at-home schooling because that is hard. Like he has a whole weekly schedule Monday through Friday and there's like six different sections in each one and I mean it's about like three to four hours um, each day which isn't too bad but trying to teach a six-year-old how to say like specific words, how to learn, how to actually read the word and not memorize it or looking at the picture and trying and to guess cry. Yeah. and he cries because he gets frustrated and I get frustrated and it's all frustrating <laughs> hello hi and it's sanitized there there toilet paper up in there <laughs> and some dish soap that we needed and some other good snacks and good stuff Awesome, thanks, babe. You're welcome, my sweetie. What up with it? You know I'm out here. Oh, we still got some in. <laughs> Look crazy. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That's okay, because so does everybody else. Woo. Go, go. Let me get put in your playpen. Right. I'm distracting you. Is it recording? Yes. Yo, so here we go. Test one. Babe in the back. This shit is for work. Oh shoot, we're gonna have to edit that part out before we send it to him. We'll do that. Anyways, this is for work. I'm about to do it's a little partner exercise. How we cope with COVID. Coping with COVID. Coca coping with COVID. Anyways, I'm about to do a curl while laying back and she's going to leg press me. AKA, we made it up. Might have been done before. <laughs> but it's a partner workout. Just something, you know what I'm saying? What am I saying again? Set a goal. Stay motivated. Enjoy yourself in the process. Right, so oh, without it first? Test mode? Test mode. Use the label marker so you know where to lay again. So we know where to adjust. I'll just use something. Okay. Don't drop me now. I'm a big guy. I can't. Don't drop me now. <laughs> I'm sliding. <laughs> I'm slipping. <laughs> oh! oh Good morning and welcome to another rainy, beautiful, gloomy day in San Diego. Um... I was kind of blown because today I was going to start sanding and painting the, uh, our bedroom furniture, but it's been raining literally this whole week, so I can't do that today. But, um, first coffee. Ready? Boy, be quiet. But, um, anyways, it's the weekend and I am about to make breakfast so I, you'll see that my breakfast is much different than their breakfast because I'm on macros and they're not so um you know guys have the amazing genes <laughs> but anyways um I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing today I am changing up my meals because it's a new week and plus I'm starting to feel a little bulky from this home quarantine um meals going on and eating all day but yeah, let's get down to it. So today I'm making peppers and eggs with a slice of toast and um, of course my coffee. But I usually do not get whole wheat. I usually only get the whole grain, but they were out of it at the store this time. So whole wheat it is. And um, I use one egg and egg whites. I only use one egg because typically in like a medium egg, there's four grams of fat. Um, in egg whites, there's, you know, of course, no fat. And I use a little bit of the canola oil to spray the pan. So this is my breakfast. I'm using Tabasco sauce on it, just a little bit. And that's gonna be my breakfast for today. So this is Vincent's breakfast. Is it already done? I'm waiting on Charles's to finish with the sausage. Hello, welcome back to the cooking show. 
His <laughs> stool is so much shorter than mine. <laughs> Just okay. kidding. No cooking uh, show. She cooked. Yeah, Small this is the, uh, I want to call it the <clears throat> breakfast talk segment. Um, we are going to talk about how we met. Just to kind of give everybody an insight about um, how we met. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. That's a good story. Yeah. I mean, as far as a not so normal way to meet your love. Yeah, we were both on deployment in the military and we were, we met part of an extension. They extended us like a month or two. And, um, yeah. We, so he was like doing another job while I was having to do another job. It's called cranking. You have to, um, explain it. You have to oh. do what? It's just everyone in the, on the ship. We're on an aircraft carrier, so it's a ship of about 5,000 people in the US, United States Navy. Um, and, you know, some of the enlisted younger, or not younger, but junior personnel come in. They have to do at least a certain time period with the, uh, the uh, mess decks or the cafeteria. So it's basically like doing your time and helping out the hands in the uh, kitchen and trash and food and cleaning. So you can either work in the officer's place, the chief's mess. I said officer's place. What's it called? The ward office or the ward room. room. So yeah, she was in the ward room. room. Yeah. So she had like the upper echelon of cranking, which isn't too bad. Um, I got some good food. I feel bad for everybody else. <laughs> so anybody but, listening that was prior Navy is probably going to be like, ha, ah, funny. If they yeah. know what they're uh, senior personnel, then they got it good. But Yeah, they do. But anyways, <laughs> so I was I was doing that, and he was pretty much the one who was delivering the boxes and the frozen foods to the different cafeterias. Mm -hmm. um, so they have like that stock of food, and um, so I think I was he was just starting, or mm -hmm. I had was, just started. He was just starting. I was just ending. I think it was like about a week or two when I ended. And um, anyway, with her, so with your cranking, yeah, with my cranking, so. He, so one day he was like coming up with these boxes of like chicken breast or fish, frozen fish. I don't even remember. Yeah, because I was part of the cargo crew. So cargo was like the food that people were eating and the chefs were cooking and all the cooks and they were cooking. Like my crew was bringing that from the, the depths of the ship, <laughs> the down bottom. It goes like ninth deck. And I mean, it's like, like going steep down, statter, yeah. statter wells, steep stairwells, ladder wells. That you had to like muscle these boxes up and we would develop techniques, we'd be throwing them to each other, so. It was crazy. They picked the right people for that. Uh, but uh, <laughs> he, okay, he was bringing in this box and I was like, uh, he came up to me and he's like, what's your name? And I was like, my first name or my last name? Because everybody goes by their last names. It's just, you know, Haddad to Way. And I was like, did you want to know my first name <laughs> or my last name? He's like. Well, both. All the names. All, all Whatever the names you got, I need to know them all. <laughs> so that's like the first thing he ever said to me. Um, and then he, t you know, he told me his name is Charles, but he goes by Chaz, and I only call him Chaz. I so hit, I had to hit her with the slickness. Yeah, I the only call him Chaz. Chaz. Charles is such is so weird to me. Like even when he's so at Charles, <laughs> proper. Even when like we're at his parents' house, they're like Charles. I'm like. Yeah, it's I mean, Chaz, though. <laughs> the name is just, I mean, sheesh. As many nicknames I had on the Navy, or in the Navy. Yeah. But, yeah, T Charles. Money. Yeah, I mean, high school was two-way. Um, uh, some friends called me Char, Char, Char. Yeah. Two-way, T-Money. Juice, they called me Juice, Juice because when I first got on the ship, everyone always saw me mixing something, and it was either red, orange, green. It was either pre-workout, post-workout, protein, or intra, whatever. But one guy was like, man, every time I see you, you drinking something that looks like juice. I'm gonna call you juice. <laughs> shout out to my boy, uh, what is this even his name? I even forgot, but shout out to him. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, we got to know each other, right, I guess, check. that check. day. Yes, but I like, know. I was working with this other girl. I forgot her name too. Sorry, but you worked with me. Uh -huh. um, Anyways, we'll get back to the shout outs. Yeah. I need to. Uh, we'll get back to that. <laughs> wrap my brain. You know what I'm saying? I'm worried about this breakfast. It's, it's been a few years, but um. <laughs> Anyways, I told her and I was like, that's going to be my future husband. And so I guess like he had his own little technique in his head too and how he's going to get me. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, we started meeting up for about like yeah. but two. Wait. Mind you, like, when I saw her, man, it was like <laughs> oh. I had to like speak to her because she just did not look like she belonged in the Navy. 
I mean, just beautiful, like, in her uniform and everything. And she was just in, like, you know, her hair was tied in a bun and was just moving around some food. And I was like, dang, who is that? Like, she is gorgeously beautiful. Like, just her features, her dark eyes, her dark, like, uh, her dark hair, just, like, just so beautiful. And I just had to go up and talk to her and get her name and just at least plant my dip to the seed because uh, my seeds be Gucci. Oh, my God. It's but, <laughs> Yeah. My seeds be Gucci. I know that's a little <laughs> bad, but I didn't mean it like that. I just meant like had to get in, talk to her, and just at least let her know like I exist, and I was like interested, or at least being. I didn't want to just be her friend. I wanted to like be her lover. Mm. Mm. So we're what like four years now. Yeah, we've been so together like, since 2016. About. Well, but um, I'm terrible with dates. Like I don't even know when we started actually dating because we it was would basically sit on the ship when we would just meet up and just talk for hours after I would be done and you. Yeah, we we literally talked for like a couple hours every day, just yeah. writing each other questions, trying to get to know each other, pretty much having like a transparency where it's like this is me and this is who I am. Either you're gonna accept it and you're gonna like it, or you're not. So we ended up, you know. Geez, Quiet. Hey, Ninja, close the uh, screen for me, please. So, we ended up um, really just loving everything about each other, and... Mm -hmm. We tried to keep it as normal as we could, like, yeah. as, like, dating and trying to, like, you know, sit down and be some type of normalcy, like, on the ship, because, you know, on our ship, it, you couldn't really fraternize or fraternize or just sit down and somebody, talk to an yeah. opposite gender in a closed space they would think you were of course you know up to no good or whatever because they think everyone's desperately looking to hook up with people like in these random closed spaces on military ships but we won't go into that yeah but we would sit and have long conversations and it'd be great like yeah. we time would pass and we'd look forward to every day and try to look the best i could in my military yeah. uniform my crash and salvage uh red shirt and yeah i started to do my makeup a lot more let me just tell you but um, we hmm. yeah we we talked for a few weeks before our first actual like date I guess you can call it because I mean there you have to be in a group of people when you're in a different country so it was me and him and then uh, this other girl her um, Ochoa she was freaking amazing oh, but, shout um, out to Ochoa yeah, remember shout that out one. to you <laughs> we remember you but um first our first date ever was in Dubai we uh -huh. went to Atlantis perfect um, place. For our first date. Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> god, we went to there. yeah, we went to Atlantis. Um, this it's like a huge play waterfall, like a water park, really. Yeah, it's amazing. They have one in the Bahamas, but um, we went to the one in Dubai. Mm. And afterwards, we ended up going where to Jamira Beach. We spent yeah part of Jamira Beach, just like yeah. fancy, extravagant, like. It's amazing. You, you couldn't even imagine, yeah, yeah. This, the level that Dubai is on is just amazing. And we were just grateful to even be there and be able to, like, you know, venture through their city. It's amazing. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, we, what, it was Atlantis just romping around and the water park and, you know, trying to flex and keep my six pack the whole time oh or eight God, pack, ten pack, huge. whatever I got. And I was a little chubby. Ah, he well, fell in love with the little chubby. She was beautiful, <laughs> though. Oh, man. But, um,. Anyways, uh. Uh, yeah, so that was our first date, and then we only went to, went on one date, I think, when we were in Dubai, and then we ended up going, having to go back out to sea for another month or so, and then we were back, we were, we were and then we went to Greece, so our, mm. like, second dates, um, Greece, we were with each other, I think, every day. Mm -hmm. We were only there for, like, three, four days, so... That was nice, and then went back out to sea, and then finally when we came home, um, we we were like, you know what, let's just let's just move in together. Yeah, I mean, and we there's were no already, point of getting an apartment because it was like, I mean, we started we, we were talking since wait, since was, like, uh, I mean, it was months. a few months yeah. on the ship and like pulling into the uh, cities for the ports, which we call them ports when you pull into uh, you know a city or a town that the military ship they allow us to pull but in there and tie up and. Basically, yeah, it was just a while like being together and we were technically a couple. Everyone knew us on the ship as always being together. She would always come see me and visit me and, you know, I would get yelled at for coming to visit her. They'd be like, Same. you can't be here. I'm like, I mean, what am I honestly doing? I would always but, try uh, to escape also. Yeah, just because like, I don't know, you had a lot of people that would 
whatever, just be like all up in your business. We'd be sitting talking and they'd be like, hey, you guys can't be here and thinking it was just like a fling and excuse me and whatnot. But I mean, look at us now, four years in, we're probably, I mean, we're still together and who knows who's still yeah. together that we're on the ship. Not a lot there. of people think that you stay together when you like meet in the military, but you have that connection. So yeah. it's, it's yeah. definitely yeah. like, you can't really have this connection with anybody else who hasn't been going through the same thing you did, I yeah. guess. Yeah, and just we so, were able to like uncover like just, you know, some uh, really good details about each other and really get to know each other yeah. and we got to understand like, wow, like this is someone I could see myself being with for the rest of my life, so. Ooh, that was great. That's my bae. Yeah, my sweet. <laughs> but that's, that's technically how we met. Um, You know, right now we're, you know, in California. We're both out of the military. And yeah, we had to take the arrow in. Yeah, we, there's only like a few people here that we shoot, know. But shoot nobody, our way out here, yeah, from what, Virginia. Yeah, but nobody's like, well, his his friend is like, you know, his, like, yeah, his my family. Yeah, my childhood friend. Now my family. Lives out but, here, so... It's not like we have like parents and brothers and sisters out here. We just kind of said, hey, where do we want to go? And I don't want to go back to Nebraska. Yeah, Vincent. And then I didn't want to, <clears throat> we didn't want to go to Maryland, but that's where my family's at now. My daughter, um, my mom and dad, but you know, they plan on moving anyway. So we were just like, where are we going to go? California's thriving. We could thrive there, you know, fitness yeah. scene is amazing. And we took a trip here during, while we were still in the military and because um, one of my best friends lives out here. Shout out to Pat, Patty White, got dull. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but took a trip out here, and then after that trip, we were like, yeah, we gotta move out here. San Diego is just, like I said, it was off the chain. Like the beaches, the weather, the fitness atmosphere, the vibe. I mean, we just knew like we could take off here. So, I mean, shoot, that's what we're trying to do now. And I mean, we're still steady climbing. People know us somewhat. We're familiarized faces throughout like the gym and the community here. So, we're trying. Trying to just grow. Corona, corona got us a little chilling, but uh, <laughs> don't worry. When you got somebody locked up in a con enclosed space, especially an animal like me, oh, I'm gonna come up with some goodies. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> coming up with the master plan, so yeah. just uh, stay tuned because we are super hungry for you know the fitness world and we just we know what we have to offer and like the dedication, the mindset, the drive, like we just want people to see that and experience that with us within our journey and you know just be a part of that with us and we want to just you know give back to you know all that fitness has given to us and to me and to her and to our family and you know why not just share and continue to motivate 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 okay. because uh <laughs> just the uh impact we know it creates on people's lives like it can change a lot i mean i i know i could be thankful and grateful for fitness and health and mm -hmm. being able to muscle build and the science behind it and I mean, it's great. I just want to be able to teach others and, you know, let them know it's almost, you can almost say anything is possible, so yeah. it would be great. Yeah. Well, uh, this, was that, our, this was our breakfast talk. We still actually have to eat our breakfast, so this is what we're going to do next, and we'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye. Ah, I can't even reach it. <laughs> I gotta go around. Attack!